the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 237 pounds, Kurt Engel. Here comes the Olympic gold medalist. Let's not forget the impact he's made as the general manager of the flagship show of WWE. He is responsible for bringing Rowdy Ronda Rousey to Monday Night Raw. Well, let's not forget my personal favorite moment of Kurtz as general manager, reconnecting with his estranged son, Jason Jordan. Yeah, you were a big part of that. I know I was. It's one of my proudest moments. And even despite that, as general manager, Kurt Angle still finds a time to compete and be on top of his game. And here comes the architect. Seth freaking Rollins, the King Slayer, the Architect, undeniably one of the best superstars WWE has seen this generation. And from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the Intercontinental Champion, Seth. Seth Rollins has made a career out of taking risks and seizing opportunities. Seth Rollins has been a multi-time champion of Money in the Bank ladder match winner, debuted as part of the Shield with Reigns and Ambrose. Rollins thrives and is driven by people doubting him, by people saying that he can't do something. Rollins will do it just to silence them and smile in their face. Lock the doors! Hide your kids! The Hide Luna your Tech wife! Friends is in the house! And their partner from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, Dean Ambrose! Raw just turned into an asylum. Sure, this guy's fit to be tied, but his resume speaks for itself. You know, I don't know what it is about this guy that captivates the WWE Universe. Quite frankly, to me, Dean Ambrose looks like a guy that hasn't showered in about a month. There is no rhyme or reason for why Dean Ambrose does what he does, but that's why people like him, Corey. is going to be good. And their opponents, first, from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe! Samoa Joe is a man who has never made an idle threat. One of the most dangerous competitors ever to step into the squared circle. And if there is hostility, if there is tension to be had, Samoa Joe will be the first one in line. A lethal hybrid of size, speed, technique, and agility. Samoa Joe is second to none.
combined weight of 499 pounds, Cesaro and the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, the Bar. Sheamus and Cesaro, one of the most dominant tag teams in recent WWE history. Once upon a time, bitter rivals. Now, a successful team. Absolutely. Uh, you look at this situation as a case of where competition and rivalry builds respect, builds friendship, which in turn has built success for Sheamus and Cesaro. Just open your eyes and enjoy one of the most physical tandems to ever do battle. No shortage of confidence, and why should there be? They don't just set the bar, they are the bar. The bell rings and the big man from the South Pacific, Samoa Joe, looking for an opening in the early going. Well, if this six-man match isn't trending at some point over the next few minutes, there must be something wrong with the internet. Most of the time, I don't understand Samoa Joe's problem. I understand healthy competition in WWE, but Joe takes... it to a dangerous level. Saxon, I wouldn't expect wow. you to understand Samoa Joe's mindset. He has the instincts of an assassin, something very few possess. Beautiful technique. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grams, the Andersons, and the Von Erichs. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. This is not the place where you want to underestimate your competition. Absolutely not. That'll leave a mark. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions. Don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the New Day. These are only some of the trios who had unbelievable matches against a variety of adversaries. If we're talking about three-man teams, I need to shout out one of the baddest trios of all time who held the World Six-Man Championship on a number of occasions. I'm talking about the American Dream Dusty Rhodes and the Road Warriors. When the Dream put on the face paint, you knew it was gonna be a bad night for their opponents. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man tag match, but it showed what can happen when issues between factions can't be resolved through a sanctioned WWE match. I'll tell you what, none of the men who fought in that conflict will ever be the same. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game-changer right there, Michael. Vicious strike.
when a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. We've talked about continuity many times on this program, but it's... Uh-oh. Is he done? He fights his way free, but how much energy did he exhaust fighting his way out? Corey, you spoke about one of superstars in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to realize when they need to tag out. Not everyone who competes as part of a six-man team has the ability to do that. We've seen many times over the years that a superstar's inability to do that has cost their team the match. We've also seen over the years that not all superstars play well with others. Some competitors are so dedicated to singles careers that when they are put in a six-man team, they become a bit lost. That's when a mistake could be made, and it could be very costly. Looking at Dean Ambrose's tenure in WWE, Ambrose has always been an odd personality, never one to conform to the norms of WWE. And a lunatic fringe has him right where he wants him. Bang! Dirty deeds. This is all but over. All that's left now is for Dean Ambrose to finish this. Sheamus gets tagged in. Yanked him right off the apron. Oh, no. Michael expressed how Dean Ambrose marches to the beat of his own drum. This is true, but don't let his humor fool you. Ambrose carries a dangerous chip on his shoulder. Look, everybody, including Dean's Shield brothers, have a chip on their shoulder. But you don't see them bringing mannequins and potted plants to the ring. Maybe if Ambrose were to show some more professionalism, he'll be taken more seriously. This might be it! Oh, my! A slam. Shane was looking a little bit uneasy here. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, where Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me, since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly with the Daredevil Hardy Boys. I've got to say, I had goosebumps for a week after the Hardy Boys returned to WWE at 2017's WrestleMania. During that six-man on Raw, Team Extreme formed an effective trio with that lunatic Dean Ambrose. After a twist of fate from Matt Hardy, Jeff crushed The Miz with a swanton bomb, and that was all she wrote. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye, or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. And the Cesaro section can't be far behind. Corey Ur What an uppercut. Talk about taking care of business. Cesaro may have just ended this one, fellas. Corey, I think you're right. the impact he's fighting back here I expected nothing less Cole got the reversal his partner's calling for the tag yeah he's not done yet rolling him up rolling through oh there it is dirty deeds Ambrose can put him away here Cole There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos, and all six superstars duke it out inside, and many times outside the ring. It's complete and total chaos. But if you're one of the legal competitors in the ring during that time, you must return to the ring before the referee's 10 count or risk being counted out. Schoolboy, no, goes down. The air just came out of the Cesaro section with that one. One of the greatest strikers in the game right now. Byron, you talked about the... Yeah, right to the back of the neck. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? 
You gotta believe this one's over. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No question about it, Cole. Blends high flying abilities with brutal grounded strikes to keep opponents guessing. If you're an opponent, how do you find an opening? I faced Seth Rollins many times, but that was before his injury. That right knee is a big target now, and I'd aim all my attacks right at that. Trap the arm into the neck breaker. Going back to Seth's knee, I'm one to know that injuries are fair game, and Seth was exposed to the world when he crumpled to the ground that night against Kane. You know, I actually agree with you, Corey. Any submission specialist needs to make that knee a priority. It also neutralizes Seth's biggest moves and keeps him from the top rope. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Seth Rollins got out of there in the nick of time. They should count his lucky stars. Joe is rolling, and he doesn't have an answer for it. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Somebody wound him up, and he's off and running. Schoolboy. Uh -oh. Super kick! Just when you thought he had nothing left. If it doesn't end the match this time, it might be time for a new finisher. This will damage your back. Samoa Joe isn't looking so hot, guys. He's got him covered. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations could be added like no disqualification, two out of three falls, elimination, falls count anywhere, or whatever else someone could think of. Matches can also be held in a caged environment. Dean Ambrose is giving him a piece of his mind. Six-man tags can be put under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction. or three superstars of the line things of a common interest, the most crucial aspect of a six-man tag team being successful is that trio's ability to act as one cohesive unit. Three individuals working collectively at all times. So much can take place during a six-man tag match. Regardless of what type of match the teams of three are competing in, the no here's Samoa Joe. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. Seth Rollins is in trouble. He could pin his opponent right here. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. Making those Iowans and other middle Americans proud. At what point do those thoughts creep in of... What do I have to do to put this match to rest? I don't know. I don't know as a WWE superstar if you ever have those thoughts of self-doubt. Vertical suplex! Nice! Dean Ambrose tags in. Severe damage being inflicted to the back. Oh boy, he is really... just echoed throughout this entire arena. Dean Ambrose, this is going to be big. And the slam. Ambrose can put him away here, Cole. I think Dean Ambrose just secured this match.
Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal agendas eat their way into the action. of how this one ends, all six of these superstars should be proud of this effort here tonight. We've got to be nearing an elimination soon here, guys. Vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, repeated kicks. Down to the floor. Tagged in. Is that one. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, what a chop block. Chop block. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Guys, it's imperative he gets back in the ring. Yeah, otherwise he's looking at a count out. What a match this has been, guys, and it's starting to look like these superstars are beginning to feel the effects. Shoulder tackle! Nope, reverses it. Big time slam! Vicious! Oof! The pin is broken up. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Nailed it. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. with that one. Oh, nasty impact. In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Try working with Saxton at ringside. Took him out at the knee. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Oh, he turns it around. Oh, my gosh. What a strike. That might have done it, Cole. The shoulders are down. One, two. Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal agendas eat their way into the action. Seamus comes in off the tag. Whoa, Angle dodged that one. He still got it. Boom. <laughs> oh, right to the body. That hurt. 
His partner's looking to get back in this thing. Caught his breath a bit, now he's ready to go again. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Slammed down hard. Sheamus' legs looking feeble. He could be on his way out of this one. He started this match in great health, but now it seems fatigue has set in. That's over at this point. This one could go either way, guys. It might just come down to which superstar is the next thing to go all night. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. He's calling for it. With angle. Angle slam. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. A quick reversal by Sheamus. No, he reverses it. Belly to belly. Vicious. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Well, that was a close call. How'd he do that? Look out here. This is going to be bad for Sheamus. Oh, something big is coming. What's he going to do with it? Seth Rollins with the tag. This does not look good for Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins incoming. When this guy's on, look out. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh boy, he is rolling. And Sheamus reverses it. needs to rethink his strategy because what he's doing now isn't working. It's about as bad as it gets for him. This has been one of the most intense back and forth battles I've seen in a long time. And unfortunately for him, it's not looking so great right now. Oh, he's such a tough target. Flatliner, man, face first. Oh boy, no, oh, what a super kick from the architect. Here's his moment, Michael. Jeez, it feels like I have the same song on my playlist on repeat. Netbreaker! Ouch. Oh, what a chop block. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, what impact. Yeah. There's the pin. One. Seth Rollins with a quick kick out. Ooh, what impact. You simply can never count out Samoa Joe. Seth Rollins getting ready. Inching closer to, and he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. Look at Cesaro stalking him. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Belly. Oh man, what a hit. Rocked right off the apron. Oh boy, he is rolling. Ooh. Oh man, what a hit. Rocked right off the apron. He's in trouble. Kurt setting it up. Angle slam. The air, his shoulders are down. Two. What an amazing six-man tag match. Well, tag team matches are one thing, but make it three on three, and it's three times as good. Take a look. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance.
That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Here are your winners, Kurt Angle, Seth Rollins, and Dean Ambrose. Talk about having to dig down deep to pick up the win. That's a big win any day of the week, on any show, in any arena, Michael. What a great match we just saw here on Raw. Thank you to everybody at home for choosing to spend part of your Monday night with us.